In this video, I want to walk you through the simple steps of submitting an issue in the GitHub issue tracker. Uh, when you log into GitHub, you'll see a little tab that will say repositories. When you click on that, uh, you probably should only have one. I'm working on multiple here, so that's why I have a lot. So we are working on a particular client site, and I'm going to um, go over to that particular repository. So in this example, you would have just chosen a repository you want to work on. In this case, it was Rogue Journals. There's a little tab that says Issues, and there's a little button that says New Issue. So here are the steps that you'll follow anytime you need to submit a new issue. Uh, to begin with, uh, you need to write a very descriptive title. This is, um, you know, the starting point. So you may say something like, you know, image needs to be wider. Okay, well, it needs to be wider. Great. Now, the next step is you'll need to tell us a URL. In this case, I've copied the URL right there. I've copied it, and now I'll paste it. So that's the first step. We need the URL. Sometimes clients will skip that, and we can't work on the ticket because we have no idea which uh, page they're specifically referring to. Sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's not. The next step is if you could please provide a screenshot of what specifically the, is the issue. Now, there's a lot of tools that you can use out there that are free. Uh, the ones I like is uh, Dropler. I use that a lot for my clients. Uh, you can set up a free account. The other one I like is, um, I think it's called Jing, let me see, J-I-N-G Screen Capture. And again, that one uh, right here is a free tool as well. You can set up an account. And most of our clients usually end up setting this one up. Um, again, you can set up the free one and it provides a little, like a little desktop icon on your computer and you can just, you know, fire it up anytime you need to take a screenshot. Okay, so choose whichever one you want. And uh, the next thing you'll do is you'll specify what it is on the page you want us to change. So a lot of times, uh, you know, all you have to do is fire open your tool and I'm using my dropler tool. I'll take a little screenshot, I'll point here, and then I hit upload. And what it will do is, you see here in the corner, it provides me a link. And all I have to do is come over here and paste the link. And now the link is in here. And so then just write a short description. Make this image, you know, 10% wider or something like that. I don't know, whatever the specific issue is. And the fourth and final step is to, um, or actually probably the fifth step, step number one is write the title. Step number two is a URL. Uh, number three is to do a screenshot. Number four is the right description. And then number five is to tag me, smash that Chris. That way I'll get an email alert. Now, when you fire this off and you hit submit new issue, I'll immediately get an email alert. Now, when I get the email alert, I can turn around and turn uh, designate which team member on my team will take care of that and we'll handle it quick, uh, pretty quickly. So again, that's a very important step that you um, tag me in that. And uh, from there, I might come back with a few comments uh, or questions but this is the fastest way to get something into our issue tracker. And the important thing is to also specify one issue at a time. A lot of times it, clients will try to specify several different issues in one ticket, and that becomes extremely difficult to separate out uh, what they want done. That can almost kind of, it almost becomes like an email. So if you want, let's just say in this case, you're saying, hey, you know, now we need to put a, a uh, change this font right here under that uh, image. Well, just simply go over here, hit new issue, and start a new ticket. So those are the simple steps you follow. If you have any questions, please let us know.